Hi everyone. As you know, there's been a great deal of discussion lately around the property marketing industry, what it's going to be doing um, now and, and over the next couple of months. Um, so we thought we'd create this video just to have a chat about what we're seeing from a property marketing supplier perspective, what kind of feedback we've been receiving, um, and that way you can have a look at the property marketing tools that you're using uh, with your clients so you can make more effective and informed decisions um, about what, whether it's photos, videos, virtual tours, etc., what's going to be the right decision for you. Now, in this video, uh, when we're going through the different things that you can be using, keep in mind that we're talking about high level professional uh, tools here. So there is a lot of substandard tools out there in the market at the moment, um, so we're not talking about those. Um, we're focusing on the, the high end professional quality products. The first tool that I would like to talk to you about is video. Um, as you know, we're big believers in the power of video. And if anything, over COVID, uh, our belief in video has only increased, if that's possible. Um, video consumption rates are absolutely through the roof and people are becoming more and more comfortable with video um, as a means to learn, to communicate and to make decisions for day to day life. Because um, for the last couple of months, this is kind of what we've had to uh, adapt to. So um, video um, is a tool that now more so than ever, people are really comfortable with engaging. If you've got a database that you're looking to engage, video is definitely the way to do so. Um, in terms of selling property, short form video is a really great way to uh, create that want and that desire for the property. And that makes people want to take that next step, which is coming in and doing an inspection. Uh, with a longer form property video, you're looking more at showcasing the lifestyle, showcasing uh, the amenity in the area, as well as the home. So that's a really great tool, especially if you feel like the property um, may be of interest to people interstate or overseas who may not be familiar with the area. Quality video, and I say quality video, I just want to make the distinction between professionally high quality put together video and some of the subpar stuff that you can see out there. A quality video, its purpose is to create a want, a desire, a need to take that next step and book that inspection um, or pick up the phone and call the agent. Especially with short form, that's the goal that we're looking for. A long form, we're looking at creating a story about what it's like to live at that property, the amenity, the surrounding lifestyle, so people can really fall in love with that idea and fall in love with the property, and then that will cause them to take that next step, to take action. So video, again, love it, definitely recommend it. Um, it is such a powerful tool that you really should be using if you're not. Um, if you're using it, great work, keep it up. Definitely recommend it during this COVID climate and, and every day in your property marketing toolkit. So the next property marketing tool that I'd like to talk to you about is virtual tours. Virtual tours are going gangbusters at the moment. If you don't believe me, click on the link below and you can check out an article where we discuss this with some of our industry peers. So virtual tours are an open home that you can take from literally anywhere in the world, like you're there doing an inspection without having to leave your couch. People then trust what they're seeing. They feel confident that they've seen everything that they need to see about the home that nothing's been hidden away from them and then you know if they're going to be contacting you they're going to be super qualified or they're going to be ready to take that next step. It's a good way to protect everybody's peace of mind and make sure that everybody's comfortable about that selling process. The person selling the home like they're not feeling nervous about all these people coming through and touching their things and vice versa. You know, people aren't feeling nervous about going into somebody else's home, especially during COVID times when people are hesitant to leave their homes or they're unable to leave their homes. Uh, virtual tours are such a great tool to be using. So in terms of the types of properties I would recommend for virtual tours, I would say definitely if you feel like the property is going to have an appeal to interstate or overseas buyers, definitely jump on the virtual tours. Um, if you're focusing more on a local market and you're really confident a local buyer is going to uh, purchase the property, perhaps maybe lean more towards the video and the emotional sell. Virtual tours 
uh, are always useful, but if the local buyer is a focus for you, you really want to be making sure that you're getting them through the door in person and having that, that private inspection if possible. I mean, that isn't always the case. There's elderly buyers, there's other at-risk people. So having the virtual tour there as an option for buyers like that is definitely something that you could consider doing, but I'd be focusing more on the video to get the local people through the door. Okay, so the next tool that I would like to talk about is professional photography. For platforms like REA and Domain, professional photography does seem to still be the preferred uh, baseline that people expect to see. People like to see photos there as that initial evaluation. Yep, okay, this ticks off some of the initial things on my must-have list. Let me dive in deeper and have a look at that virtual tour or that video. But photos, yeah, baseline for REA and Domain. If you're focusing more on a social campaign or an off-market campaign, photos kind of take a step down in the priority list. In that case, a video or a virtual tour can definitely do the job of getting people engaged to the point that they want to take action, that they want to take that next step. If you look at social engagement figures, people are far more likely to engage with a video than they are with a set of photos. If that is your goal, I'd be leaning more towards the videos. I mean, you can have a mix, absolutely. I try to hit people on different levels, but I'd be looking more towards video as the primary tool and then photo as a secondary tool for for a social dominated campaign. Based on the limitation of photos that you can't see the property in its entirety, we recommend a baseline of photos and video for all your listings. During this time of COVID, virtual tours are also a super beneficial tool, especially if you're targeting interstate and international buyers. So that's it, that's three marketing tools, um, how we're seeing them used during COVID and our recommendations about how you might want to use them based on uh, your properties and your target buyers. As always, the Elite Media team are here to discuss any property marketing needs that you may have. Please feel free to contact us on the details below. Stay safe everyone and we'll see you at the next property.